You can now connect your AI to Discord using the Discord webhook function block. The possibilities are endless by using Discord's simple webhook URLs within Mind Studio. Let me show you how it works. Here we're using the summarizer template to where we collect the user input for a URL, and then we summarize the URL, and then we display the result to the user, and then we send that result over to Discord. This is what the end result looks like. Essentially, you will get a summary of the article inside of a Discord channel, in addition to seeing the result within your AI. Let's build this together. We're going to head to My AIs inside of Mind Studio. Go ahead and create a new AI. We're going to head to the Prompt section and start with one of our templates. We're going to use the Summarizer template. Go ahead and import. Here's your prompt. Feel free to adjust if need be. Go over to automations. And for this send message block, what we're gonna do is go to the message settings and assign this message to a variable. We're gonna call this result since this is the result that we're looking for. And here we're gonna create another send message block. Simply click on the plus icon. And we're gonna display the result to the user. If you don't do this step, your AI is going to not work properly on the front end, but it'll still send the results over to Discord's function block. Next, what we're gonna do is click on the plus icon, and we're gonna run a function. We're gonna then click on browse community functions, and we're going to find the Discord webhook. Click on import, and now we have the Discord function webhook block here. You can see the configurations here on the right side. All we need to set this up properly is the Discord webhook URL that's provided by Discord and the input. The input is the text that's going to be sent over to the webhook. This can either be a string or a variable. Remember how we created a variable for our result? That is what we're essentially going to be sending over to Discord. But first, let's go over to Discord to find our webhook URL. Go over to discord.com and what you need to have as a prerequisite is either a role with integration permissions within an existing discord server or you can simply create a new server to start from scratch i already have a server created so what we're going to do is create a new channel if you don't want it to be in your general channel we're going to call this article summary And then what we're going to do is hit the settings icon here to edit the channel. Going to head to integrations on the left side. And what we want to do is create a webhook URL for us to use within Mind Studio. Click on create webhook on the right side. And it'll automatically create a webhook for you. We're going to click inside of it. And here you can change the name of your webhook, but the way to integrate this into Mind Studio is by simply copying the webhook URL. You simply hit the button here. Now it's copied. Go back to Mind Studio. Paste the Discord webhook URL within the configuration. And that's it. We're gonna go back to Discord, hit escape, and here we have our channel. Let's make sure that the Discord webhook URL was added successfully and is working properly with Discord. We're gonna go back to Mind Studio. We're gonna open up the functions folder. Click on Discord webhook. Here you can make code adjustments if you'd like to, but what we're gonna do is test the data and make sure that the webhook is working properly. To test that the webhook is hooked up properly, what we're gonna do is go to test data and we're gonna take our copied webhook URL and paste the URL between these two marks. It should look something like this. The input is the test message that we're going to send over to our Discord channel. We're gonna go ahead and run this function by clicking this icon. 
As you can see here, the message was sent to Discord successfully. We're going to go to the Discord channel and make sure. You can see the test message here that we sent. Great, we now have our Discord webhook URL linked to our AI. Let's go back to Mind Studio and continue building. We're going to go back to our main flow and enter in our input. Again, it can be a string or a variable. What we want to send over to Discord is the results from our AI. Once we collect a URL and then summarize the URL, we're assigning the variable result. We're then displaying the result to the user with this other send message block. And then with the Discord webhook function block, we're going to send this variable over to Discord. So we're simply going to put the curly brackets and call it result. Then we're going to hit preview draft just to test it out and make sure that it works. I have this article here from TechCrunch. We're going to go ahead and copy the URL, go to our draft summarizer. We're going to paste the link to this article, click on next. And now we have here our article summary, not only in the AI itself, but also in our Discord channel called Article Summaries. The possibilities are endless by using the Discord webhook function block with your AI. For example, you can send a message to a dedicated channel when you get a new user of your AI. Or, as shown in this tutorial, we can send you URL summaries to a dedicated channel on Discord. And another use case is that you can send your blog posts to a dedicated channel on Discord for use in the future. If you have any questions, bug reports, or would like to connect with other MindStudio developers, feel free to join our Discord in the video description below. Thank you for watching.